Yaho YouTube, I'm Supa Genki, and in today's video, we are going to go over five tips to be successful on your jet interview. First and foremost, though, omedito gozaimasu to all applicants who made it past the first stage of the application. I remember back in my day when us Jets had to fill out our applications on papers and then we had to mail the papers all the way to the consulate and I spent two weeks compiling my packet together, getting the peer review, doing the essay over and over and over again and then I send it. I send it through UPS and I express mail it and when I get back to the computer room, when I get back to the computer room, I realize that I forgot to put a signature on the last page of the application process. So me, I'm here like, oh no, what do I do? So I run all the way back to the mail room and I say, hey, wait, wait, wait. And the guy's like, yeah, I need to sign something. And he says, really, you mean this package? And I said, yes, yes, please. And guess what? He let me sign it. I did my interview. I went to Japan for a year. I came back and now I'm making this video. That being said, let's just jump into it. Tip number one, show up at least an hour early. For all of you young applicants that want to be even more serious about your jet interview, I recommend canceling all plans you have for that day. Why, Super Kenki? Why should I cancel all the plans I have on my interview day? Well, the application process is pretty long. And make no mistake, this interview only happens once. There are no redos. To ensure success, you'll want to make sure that you get your head straight beforehand, relax and phase into the atmosphere of the interview environment. On my interview day, I spent one hour reading Runaway Horses by Mishima Yukio in the lobby downstairs and then the next hour in the interview waiting room. One hour spent waiting in the lobby plus one hour spent waiting in the waiting room equals two hours of phasing into the interview atmosphere. I can't say for certain if this tip does anything quantitatively speaking, but for me, it definitely took weight off my shoulders and calmed down my nerves. Tip number two, don't be yourself. Instead, be authentic to what you believe in. Now, I have done some research looking into what other people have said about the interview process, and they all say the same thing. Be yourself. But Super Genki is not here to tell you to be yourself today. Why? Because maybe you don't know yourself. And if you're that person in the interview, well, anything can happen. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. If you're Patrick, then who's that? It's Godzilla! Instead of being yourself, I would recommend being authentic to what you believe in. If you're a weeaboo, don't just say, yep, that's me, I'm a weeaboo. Instead say, yep, that's me, I'm a weeaboo, and Japanese anime culture has deeply impacted me, so much so that I have a strong desire to go to Japan and give back to the country that has given me so much. Don't just say who you are, link who you are to what you can do for Japan. Tip number three. If you're going to go into anime, please don't go into specifics unless asked otherwise. Remember, young Jetlings, Jet is a job. Yep, that's right. It's a job. And I would imagine that the interviewers don't want to hear about your extensive knowledge of anime. If you're going to mention anime at all, try to link it to your desire to go to Japan and give back to the country. I don't remember if I mentioned anime in my Jet interview, but I do remember telling many Japanese people how Naruto deeply impacted me when I was a kid, and that was one of the primary fuels for my desire to go and work in Japan. Tip number four, don't gaijin smash the interview. Do research beforehand, and especially go over the information you wrote in your initial application package. Research is great and all, but you especially don't want to be inconsistent with what you wrote in your initial application. For my research, I went online and chose 10 to 14 suggested jet interview questions, wrote them down, answered the questions, and then read the answers out loud until I no longer had to think about answering them. For example, tell me, Super Genki-san, what anime do you like? 
What a great question. I like Naruto because Naruto deeply impacted me as a kid, fueling my desire to go to Japan and give back to the country that has given me so much. I basically said that line so many times that I no longer had to think about responding to the question. And finally, tip number five. Remember, it's just an interview. Don't psych yourself out thinking that if you don't get this job, you'll lose all meaning in life. You can apply for the JET program once a year. And even if you don't get it the first time, you'll be a much stronger applicant the second time around. That being said though, take the interview seriously. Those are my five tips for your JET interview. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, or smash that like button. Good luck everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.